Lindy. And I'm Russell. From Love Crate Celebrate, welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. For this video, Lindy's going to be sharing an unedited version of a home tour. If you have not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future DIY and home renovation videos. Because there's some awesome stuff coming and you really don't <laughs> want to miss out. So we've all seen pretty Instagram pictures. We've all seen beautiful videos of room reveals, but that's not how we live every day. <laughs> we have children, we have pets. We have renovations going on for undisclosed periods of time. <laughs> so this is our unedited home tour. We like to give you a tour of our whole home but the unedited version, meaning we're not putting away the treadmill, we're not putting away the reno supplies, we're letting you see how we live from day to day. And even going in some rooms that you guys won't commonly see, like maybe the laundry room. Is it good? <laughs> Is it bad? It's Who bad. knows? It's bad. So we're going to show you every room in our house, the rooms that we've completed, how they look most days, and the rooms that we haven't tackled yet, and maybe give you some insight into the ones that we're going to tackle in the next few months. I will say that Russell did a lot of the filming for this one, and there were several times when I wanted to move things from the room or rearrange things. But I was filming and it was go time, and if she didn't move it, it got filmed. He just kept saying to me, this is an unedited yeah. tour, it's an unedited tour. So I did my best to just stand back and let the everyday life be filmed. So you can be assured that this is unedited and the things that you see <laughs> are where they're supposed to be. Or where they're normally Where they're not supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> where they normally are and maybe not in their staged Instagram life place. Yes. My friend Colleen Pasteur, who blogs at LemonThistle.com, is also joining me for an unedited home tour. We shared together last year. I'll link that video up top so you can check out last year's video and see what we've done in the meantime. But Colleen is going to be sharing her unedited home tour as well, so make sure you check out her video. I will link to it at the end of this one and in the description box below. Okay, right, let's dive into the home tour. As always, I'm starting in our entry, which was actually one of the first rooms that we renovated in this house. I still love our entry, but usually it's a little bit messier than you see on Instagram. Our Canadian winters mean that we have tons of jackets and boots everywhere, so we have this little shoe rack under the console table that stays there most of the winter time. I do have plans to relocate this storage into our laundry room, which you'll see in a second, and you'll see that that room has not been renovated or touched yet. And then the other side of the entry has all of our practical storage. Each of the kids has their own bin, we each have our own shelf, and we store a lot of our everyday items here. Plus we have this really simple tiled bench that we made and everybody sits here to put their shoes on so it's pretty but it's also very practical. First room on the left when you walk into the hallway is my office. This is a room we renovated a couple of years ago and is still one of my favorite rooms in the house and also probably one of the cleanest rooms because it's mine, the kids don't come in here and I usually like to work in a nice clean space. Then the space across the hall from my favorite room is probably my least favorite room. <laughs> this is our laundry room slash utility room slash catch-all and it needs a lot of love. We're actually planning to tackle this space in the next few months, 
We'll never be able to make it gorgeous because it is a utility room, but we do plan to paint everything and make a much nicer laundry room space to actually do laundry and fold laundry and create a ton of storage. When we renovated the bathroom beside this room, we had actually moved the wall, which removed a lot of the storage we had. So now things like all of our cleaning supplies just sort of sit out without a home. And I'm really excited to get some of that storage back and put these things where they belong. And like I said, the next room is our bathroom. This is one of my favorite rooms in the house. It's one of the rooms that we've renovated and it's one of the few spaces that really feels done to me. Everything has a place, there's proper organization and storage and it always looks good. We have a short hallway here that leads into our kitchen and our big open space. Although I do love the storage it provides, I'm not a huge fan of the style of the actual doors. They're a little bit too rustic for me and don't feel like they fit in with the rest of the house. So a barn door update is something we're going to be tackling right away here. We're going to be doing new modern barn doors and keeping them on those two sliders. So stay tuned, that update is going to be amazing. And then on the other side is this modern sideboard that we redid. Still in love with it. Definitely love having it on display in the hallway here. And the last door in this hallway leads to our kids' playroom. Right now, with them all being so young, it's so valuable to us to have the playroom. Eventually, my son will probably move in here and this will become his bedroom. But for now, they love sharing and we're happy to have a space for all of their toys. They are responsible for cleaning this space, so it's not always the tidiest, but I think they do a pretty good job most of the time. And if you watched our most recent reno video, then you already know that we redid this little space under the stairs for our kids. There's usually quite a few stuffies or pillows in here. They use this space quite a lot since we redid it for them, which makes us really happy and I'm just glad that they're enjoying it. Then we get to move into the big open space of our house that starts in our kitchen and flows into our dining room and living room. We've done a few temporary updates in here as you can see in our weekend renovation video. We actually painted these countertops and put up a peel and stick tile backsplash. Both of these things are getting to the point where they need replacing soon, so you may see some kitchen updates in our future as well, but we're really happy with the upgrades we did and how long they lasted, and this kitchen has been really functional for us. And we can't forget about the most often used spot of our kitchen, which is this simple coffee bar that we did. Our kitchen flows into our dining room, which has this big impactful feature wall that I have always loved. 
When I tell you that I let my husband film without moving anything, I didn't even tuck in the chairs. <laughs> So this really is unedited. This is how our dining room usually looks, although sometimes it has a few more toys on the table. And then as the dining room flows into the living room, you'll see that we didn't remove the treadmill behind the couch or my son's Paw Patrol toys on the floor. We tried to leave this as naturally as we have it every day. And then the last space downstairs is this built-in desk we made which is covered in craft supplies and coloring books because my children have taken over this desk. This is what it usually looks like. We finally finished renovating the staircase so the downstairs is really feeling a lot more complete but as soon as you get to the top of the stairs, you can see that the upstairs is definitely not done. When we tackled the stairs, we ripped out all of the flooring across the upstairs as well because we will be replacing all of the flooring to make it consistent. We added one reading chair that we use almost every single day, but we still have to add some new storage options and open shelving to this loft space before it's complete. As you can see, we're also living with some boxes in the corner of the loft right now because we have some exciting projects coming up in our upstairs spaces. A couple of years ago, we transformed our big bedroom upstairs to give it to our three kids to share. This room has lots of fun personality for them. They have a little reading nook here. This is about as clean as it gets when they're tidying up, but they really love hanging out in here together and it's been a fun space for them. Making beds has also long been one of their chores, so we let them do this themselves and I didn't do any fancy styling this time either. And across the hall is another one of the spaces in this house that I cringe at. It is our main upstairs bathroom. This bathroom is very outdated from the linoleum to the oak cabinets to the tile on the wall. I am very excited to rip this bathroom apart and hopefully we are doing that later this year. And the final room upstairs is our master bedroom. Because we stretched out this hallway and pulled up a lot of the flooring, this room has been in constant renovation mode. We have piles of flooring and supplies. We don't have a door on the bedroom. All of the surfaces are not styled. But hopefully this time next year, we have more storage solutions and some beautifully finished rooms upstairs. So that is our unedited home tour. That is how we live day to day with our renovations and how our house looks when it's not styled perfectly for room reveals or Instagram. And don't forget that my friend Colleen Pasteur is also sharing her unedited home tour, so make sure to check hers out as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the unedited version of our home tour. I hope I don't feel too embarrassed putting this out on YouTube. I mean, it's real life, so yeah. if you want to judge us, I want to see your house. <laughs> If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on future DIY and home renovation videos. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching.